And as they're going to Jericho, Jesus sees this man, or this man is sitting by the side of the road. His name is Bartimaeus. Um, I think it's interesting that Mark chooses to name this man. You know, if you're making up a story that's not a true story, in general, you don't use proper names because you don't want people to be able to fact check you. So let's just say, hypothetically, Mark is, you know, in the second or in the first century, and he's trying to make up this story about Jesus, about how Jesus had the power to heal blind people. If he was making it up, he wouldn't include somebody's name because well, people could say, well, I, I know that guy, <laughs> or maybe that guy doesn't exist. Maybe we can go ask him, did that actually happen? But Mark names this guy, well, probably because he actually existed, and people could actually go ask him, did this actually happen? And Mark knew that Bartimaeus would back him up, that this was the legitimate story. It turns out the Gospels do this quite a bit. Uh, Mark's Gospel particularly uses a few names, quite a few names, and uh, what that helps us understand is that these stories are not made-up stories. They're true history that could have been and was fact-checked during its time. And even now, we find out that these names actually give us an insight into how true we can know the scriptures to be. Uh, for example, there was a study that was done of uh, all the baby names from the first century in Palestine, so Jesus' area of the world during Jesus' time. And they would study them and see the frequency of different names. So in the same way that you can like go online right now and find out what's the most popular boy name for 2021 or the most popular girl name for 2021 in Canada, like they did that retroactively to the baby names in Palestine in the first century. And what they found out is that the frequency of names used in Palestine in the first century almost exactly matches the Bible's use of names. You see what that connection is? If you look at non-biblical literature, non-biblical records, they match the frequency of the use of names to the biblical narratives of that same time. Which should remind us again that this is real history. These aren't made up stories. Jesus was a real man who lived at a real time, really claimed to be God, really died, and then really came back to life. And there's a whole lot of evidence to prove it, including things like this. 